I'm Chris Hedges, and back in 2017, we made the move to Winfield, Kansas. We launched on basically it was Easter of 2018. Um, first couple of years, you know, it was a little rough, but uh, God has been faithful. The summer of 2018, moved down to Katy, Texas, a suburb of Houston. Grand Open, January of 2019. We just celebrated our seven year anniversary this year. So we're about seven and a half years old. After three years of looking, we made eight offers in 36 months. And two of the eight that we made offers on were buildings that were not even on the market. We just told them, we like your building, can we buy it? Uh, we were in a movie theater at the end of a service going up for announcements. And I, I, I am prepared for announcements. I don't wing stuff, but I just randomly said, can you guys start praying for a building? I just randomly threw that out to the crowd. You start praying for that. One month later, we were signing on the dotted line for a building. It was an athletic training facility before us, did some renovations and made it a church building. We just made a commitment in 21 uh, that discipleship was gonna be who we were. Uh, we were going to focus on that. We'd let God grow his church, and he's done that. Had a mother of one of our, our guys that's in our small group at my house, or who actually owns the property, and she was like, I love your church. She said, what do, we, what do you think about having a building of your own? And so that was kind of how it all started. I noticed this shift in the Katy people, a difference in renting a house and buying a house. When you buy a house, people think, oh, you're committed to this area. You're, you're staying. Well. In a sense, we were just renting a house. We could leave any moment. But the second we bought this, oh, okay, you're here. You're committed to Katie now. We just, we need our own place. Being in a school, we're just not visible to our community. Although we've been here seven and a half years and got a great reputation in our community, people just don't know we exist. Last December, we closed on four acres, hoping to break ground by November. It's the best four acres in the whole town. Listen to this, listen how cool it is. So in Windsor, they're building, it's called the Future Legends facility. It's gonna be the largest softball baseball complex in the United States. Two hotels, 14 restaurants, 2,000 homes within a mile. One mile, all this is going to be our area of influence. A couple weeks ago, we had a prayer night at the building. We had about 100 people show up. And what we asked them to do first was just to take about 15 minutes and just write prayers on the wall. Uh, I mean, we had little kids praying and writing on the wall. And uh, we had a couple ladies that are in their 90s. We just kind of talked about the idea that this this can be a you know a generational thing for the community. Our first Sunday in this building, I went up and announced, this is not our last building, so don't get comfortable here. And sure enough, that's what's happened. A year later, we were we bought 10 acres of land. So we're breaking ground, 750 seat auditorium with the preschool attached to it, so a lot of kids area. We've talked about three things in this process. We wanna reach more people for Jesus, we wanna grow our faith, and then we wanna be a blessing to our community, to be, um, that city uh, on a hill. This puts us right in the heart of everything that goes on during all of the holidays, uh, during the music festivals, and it allows us to just continue to be a light. And I'm excited about just the way our people are dreaming about that. The one thing that has shifted in me is that God is not a God of scarcity, but abundance. We did not have the money for the first building, and we don't have the money for the second building. You would not look at her spreadsheet and say, yeah, yeah, you're, you're ready for that size. But in my mind, eternity is worth it. The risk is worth it. People's lives are worth it. So we're gonna go for it. It's amazing what happens when you just let God lead and you follow. It's remind me to stay faithful and just obedient. There's always a season of just learning and stepping into the next season of faith. So we're just gonna keep doing that. Whatever the Lord wants us to do, we're, we'll just keep saying yes. If we just trust God and we throw the net on the other side of the boat, knowing that this is another opportunity. The building is just an opportunity for God to show up. And that's probably my favorite part of this. When you change a life, you don't change a life, you change a lineage. Watching generations of people come to Christ because we brought one more, that's still the same dream. It's just gonna keep expanding. The footprint's gonna keep expanding.